What's up everyone? It's your boy LJ and in this video I'm gonna talk about my recent Titan Fitness experience. If you're new to the channel please make sure to subscribe and if you like the video please make sure to show the thumbs up button some love. So I want to come on here real quick and talk briefly about an experience that I just had um, with Titan Fitness. Now if you're into fitness or you have your own garage gym or you're looking to have your own setup and you're trying to look for something that's cheap, that's cost effective, then you've likely heard of Titan Fitness. Now they have a really bad rap um, and again I haven't been in this game long enough like I've always worked out or whatnot but I've only really had my own home gym for about a year, year and like three months now um, so this is my first time actually going into brands like Rep Fitness, Rogue and whatnot. I'm not super familiar with a lot of the Titan Fitness products. I'm still always weary because I've heard stories and I mean you read the reviews and you read some of the stuff on Instagram, you see some of the posts that people make and I mean not too long ago I think November or so I bought a squat box from them, adjustable squat box I had been looking around and a lot of the boxes around were running in the 300s and that wasn't even including shipping. Again, they were the most cost effective alternative out there. And I took a chance. I mean, it was a box. How badly can you F up a box? If you follow me on Instagram, which is my boy LJ, just like the YouTube channel, then you'll see that I use it consistently uh, pretty much once a week at minimum. Anyways, recently I took another chance. I had been looking at camber bars and uh, from Rogue to like Elite FTS, uh, those bars were ranging like in the $300 range, like $350 and whatnot. That's not even accounting for shipping. I didn't even bother to go through the shipping process to see how much shipping was going to cost. I mean, I had read some of the comments on the Rogue stuff and it seemed like shipping was going to be pricey in itself. Here comes Titan Fitness. I, I went to their page. Again, the, they tout free shipping. So that obviously is hook, line and sinker for me. A lot of this weightlifting stuff is very pricey because of how heavy it is and just some of it because of the awkward packaging or just because of the awkward uh, shape of the product this was no exception uh so i went to the site and i took a look and honestly just off of the looks themselves they it looked identical to like the elite fts and to like the rogue fitness one this isn't a product review at all this is just my experience with receiving this product um now, I ordered this product on Monday and it was set to arrive for this Friday. So I was super stoked. I was like, wow, that's super quick, whatever. I might be able to use it for this Saturday workout. I took a look to see if it was actually gonna get here and I noticed that there was some shipping delays according to the FedEx like uh, site and like the labeling and whatnot. Like it said that the product had been damaged. So it, it didn't come Friday like I thought it would. No big deal. And then, uh, so Saturday comes by, I do my workout, whatever. Halfway through the day, uh, the bar actually ends up getting here. So I go outside and this is what I find. That's how it arrived. Like it was just left like that. Uh, there was no box. It wasn't packaged. It wasn't in any type of protective bubble packaging, whatever. I don't know how Rogue uh, Fitness or how Elite FTS, I don't know how they package these bars in particular. If you have one, let me know <laughs> how they come packaged. Uh, I'd like to see a picture of the box that it comes in or how well wrapped it is. But this bar, this is how it came. Um, and of course, if it's gonna be delivered this way, then you right away have to look for dings and that's exactly what I did. I mean, I brought it into the garage and I took a look at it. I took a once over and and uh, here, here, take a look for yourself. Uh, this is the condition that the bar came in. I mean, there were some dings on the bar, um, on the edges of where the, you actually go to load the plates. Uh, some throughout the bar and whatnot and some minor things here and there some scratches uh, some just dings in general uh, no real major dents and then just some funky white stuff on on the back side of the bar or the front side I guess depending on which side you're using anyways that's it I, I really just wanted to come on here and just share the story uh, <laughs> I I didn't get worked up I was just kind of baffled I mean like for me, and, and again, I, maybe this was a one-off, like I don't know like if you've ordered from this company before or if you ordered a Titan Fitness Camber Bar, let me know in the comments, like is this how it arrived for you or was it packaged? Like, I don't know if this was a one-off, if I was just lucky and this is how it landed, um, but for me, uh, if I'm going to be selling this type of product, and as a fanatic myself, like I know 
I, I I love to work out. Like it's my sanctuary. My garage gym is my sanctuary. I take pride in how I take care of my stuff. Um, and if I were to sell something, I feel like I would take pride in how it's being delivered. Like it's a representation of my company and myself. Like, I don't know. I can't use this. Like I can't post this on Instagram. Like it's gonna look nasty, you know? Like why would I want it? You know, like it's a bar. It's gonna get dinged up. Like it, I don't have an issue with the, with how it is or with the scratches or whatever because ultimately I was gonna F it up or I at least I would hope to abuse it enough to where it would end up dinged up. I mean, you kinda wanna be the one to break it in. You don't want it to come in broken in. I mean, this was technically supposed to be brand new. I mean, what do y'all think? I, I just think this is kind of like a bad representation and it kinda makes sense now as to some of the bad rap that they get. Anyways, that was it and if you're expecting a product review, my apologies, but there will be one coming soon. I promise, uh, cause again, I've never used one of these bars. I've been super curious. So we'll see how it goes and I'll let you all know. Thanks again for watching. If you have a second, go check out my Instagram. It's my boy LJ. I post fitness stuff daily, uh, so go check it out. I'm sure you'll start seeing this bar there probably before I even do a review on it. Thanks again for watching. This is your boy LJ and I'll catch you next time.